Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Lathrixian breweries in our lovely little valley here. In today's video, my only real goal is to make wine. We are going to finish off the winemaking process, and our people can finally get horribly, horribly intoxicated. So because of that, we're going to be focusing a lot on the actual brewing aspect today, but also we do need to build a regular house. Uh, probably something like this over here, and that's going to be where everyone sleeps. I've also decided what I'm going to do up here is plant loads of trees and everything else and see if we can have the trapper constantly active over here. It may be a bit morbid constantly seeing small animals being captured, but it actually spawns them in and makes them look all pretty and alive and stuff before capturing them. Now, today I am not actually going to name any of the people because sadly right now we are in the middle of the heat wave and because of the magic of the heat wave it has decided to destroy my internet and all of my lists of the names I was choosing was backed up online and I no longer have access to it. So instead, next episode, what we're going to do is just name loads of people. So name suggestions are very welcome in the comments below. You may also realise I am currently uh, speaking a bit weirdly, a bit more hyper than usual. The reason is I am horribly ill. Yesterday I managed to scratch my eye, which overnight has bloomed into a lovely infection, making me really sick and in a lot of pain. And because of that, I am on a lot of medication, some of which have hyper warnings. I like this medication, I've decided, <laughs> but either way, let's get into just building. Stonehearth is here to calm me down, is what I'm saying, and distract from the crippling pain in the left side of my face. Oh yeah, we also need a geomancer, because these things are adorable and I want thousands of them, because I like little creepy crawly pets, hence why I've got loads of little creepy crawly pets in real life. But the question is, how do you even make one of those people? Wrong thing, correct thing, if it loads. Uh, you make a geomancer. Oh, you just need to get the talisman. A talisman from Clan Amber. Oh, yeah, it's an event later on, isn't it? That's what it is. Okay, so that's not going to happen for a while. Now, of the comments I did get to read before everything went absolutely terrible, I know that people decided that the Hearth of Cheer was what we're going to go with because everyone's going to get drunk and be very, very happy. Also, the word drunk apparently gets these videos demonetized, so... I'm doing this for free. You're welcome. <laughs> because I'm not going to stop saying the word drunk. Boost daily update net worth based on the overall morale of your citizens. Each day brings a new random buff for your townsfolk. So that's what we're going to build. The Hearth of Cheer. So what we need is 20 prepared food. And we need at least 5 people to be merry. Well, we have one person who's currently happy. Nope, they're no longer happy. That changed real quick. So what we really need then is a cook. And I think that's what a farmer becomes? Yes. We currently have three farmers, which is more than enough. We have John Bishop. We have Kate Grail. John Bishop, isn't that a comedian? <laughs> and we have Baxter. Uh, Baxter's really high level, and that's what's giving me access to all these new plant things. So I'm going to go on the low level ones, uh, as long as they're high enough level to even change. You like the sun. You're hot headed. You know, a cook should be hot headed. So, Kate, you are going to be our cook. Well done. 10 points to you. Making all our beer snacks. Uh, what else I want? Okay, we've already got the tailor. What I really, really want is... Da, 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 if I can find the thing... Aww, that's not what it is, but that's adorable. But it's not what I wanted. Where is it? Training dummy. Okay, so actually it was there. I'm going to have three of those. I wonder if the healers can also go to the training dummy. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, so that needs the bolts of cloth. That's why we needed this tailory person. So I want three of those. Whoa, I gave you loads of orders last time. I can't remember giving you. I have no memory of this. And we need some thread. Did I end up growing silkweed? Can I grow silkweed here? Yes, okay. So all of these are going to be silkweed. I'm going to make some more of those. Put more of those down because we need the thread from that. The fiber from that, rather, which makes the thread. Uh, so we're going to need one more of these. Please make me ten. Which means I'm going to need to do some mining as well as my speech impediment comes out there. Uh... I am all over the place today. Oh, I'm already mining everything, and you are... You're able to get up, right? I'm assuming you can find food. Yeah, because otherwise it gives you the warning. This person can't find food and is dying. Yeah, look, a little cute thing just proved it. Excellent. Let's have a look what our chef can do. Also, apparently I completely forgot about the whole... Oh, yeah, we have silkweed. So that's something. There's a lot of options here. There was not this many last time. There's fish, um, there's meatballs, there's meat and veggies... A simple cake. We need any butter and a bowl of sweet batter, however you make that. 
We can make wheat bundles, thatch bundles, uh... What can we make easily? Okay, so the broth. That requires bones, veggies, and raw meat. Okay, so let's try and maintain 30 of those. I know it's a lot, but it's good food. It'll make people happier, so we can do the thingy of um, cheer. Wheat dough, raw sausage. Ooh, what do you need there? Any seasoning. How do you make seasonings, then? Cooking oil, rice, wheat, corn, flour, flour, sugar. Sugar, okay, so let's make sugar, and that's from... Sugar bells? What are the sugar bells? I'm assuming a plant, but I, I don't know how you get- there's so much to cover. And there's kibble. All animals will eat this kibble. Oh, that's good. Any small eggs. Oh god, I've no idea how to do any of this. Uh... How'd you get eggs? Chickens. Uh, shepherd. Okay, let's just- Aw, oh, that thing's so cute. Okay, I I'm just distracted by that thing constantly. We need a storage room as well. There's so much we need. So much. Let's finally build the staircase. Now apparently that's the right colour. I use the um, colour palette thing. But it did look really off then. So here's hoping that didn't lie to me. Okay, we're definitely not getting a new person tomorrow. That's fine. I'm going to put the chef stuff um, inside here. I think this brewery is going to end up becoming more of a... Hotel? <laughs> because a lot of people mentioned, looks like a hotel. You know what? I agree. <laughs> I, I did, for some reason, build a hotel rather than a brewery. Uh, but still. So, let's place down. Wooden barrel, blah, 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 blah. Aha. That's the herbalist one. Where's the cook one? You still not done with those? Oh, you cook. Where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? Come on, you idiot sandwich. Oh, I just thought, do you know what would be really cool, at least really cool in my head? If we... Let's find the right ones, whatever these will do. If we had something... Let's actually do it correctly. Like this. So it stops the rain and everything else. And then you can still see, though, into this section. And then that can be all the brewery stuff. Make it look nice with arches and everything else. But essentially have it look over everything else. Then have loads of booze making stuff in there, like. I'm sold on that idea. I trust myself here. It's gonna be awful. I'll wait till it's not raining as well, as much as I do love the rain and the dark in real life and everything else. Aha! You're trapped. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? <laughs> Riley the dead. Caven the dead. You're cordless, apparently. So are you. And so are you. You also look pretty dead. There goes the cook stuff. That blacksmith has leveled up. Fantastic. And now just waiting around. Doing this as well would actually be an easy place to put the storage, so I think the idea is actually pretty sound. Maybe. So much food. We are producing way too many berries. Got loads of uh, UI errors then, which caused my recording software to crash, which is interesting. Either way, we've got a new person. Turns out I misread how much um, value we needed. So now we have three footmen and a cleric, which sounds like a really bad sitcom. Um, it turns out as well the reason why we're not getting any of uh, these good things being made is because I didn't have a loom. So as soon as someone harvests this bit of uh, silkweed, we can make a loom. And from the loom, we can make all the stuff we need. Oh, that's going on. I'm just going to start trying to visualise how on earth this is going to work. Because at the moment, I don't really know. And these can look really weird really easily if I'm not careful. Uh, do we need them on the back, do we? Since it'll be attached to the wall itself. Not sure. Maybe something like this. Bring this down a little bit, make it more of an actual arch rather than just a stick. But that will work, and then we have... A large section here, then like another arch here. Yeah, so connect these connected by two arches. Have both of the arches connect to the wall slightly. Have it all very open plan, that way we can see in nice and easily, even once um once a lid goes on top. A lid? Once a roof goes on top. You know, on those building lids. So this is going to be super bland to begin with, I admit, but my goal at the very end is to have something up here as well. So we got, uh, most likely what we're going to do is build a very large building which spans from here onto the ceiling here. That's why I'm also leaving a, uh, a one-high block. 
That way we can put down a proper flooring and everything else. And I'm not sure how I want to get up there though. It could just be some ladders. It could be a really big staircase. Perhaps a staircase over here then going into the rock. But I want that space in the future. So for now it's just going to be essentially a foundation piece. Which will also keep the halflings from being outside. So the rain doesn't affect them and some of the other things don't affect them. And still gives us plenty of space so we can actually see what's going on. Because in there I can't see what's going on no matter what I do. It's... So claustrophobic. This will be the opposite of that. And yes, I am building this rather than building more housing for our halflings. Because I'm just that nice. Okay, we'll make the bottom out of road. That way it can move nice and fast as well. Uh, from here I get... Oh, yep, that's what I wanted to do. I really don't want to make this too complicated just because we are going to be adding so much later. The more complex it is, the more issues we're going to have when we add more building to it. This game really doesn't like you building over existing buildings or messing around with them after they've been built, but I'm not going to build this huge thing in one go, because otherwise that's what our halfling is going to do all day, every day, for weeks. We don't have enough people for what I want to do at the moment. So for now, just that. So a wooden flooring, which is road, so once they're in here, they're very quick. We have this here. Um, that's all going to be the same colour, am I right? Yes, okay. Yep, that's going to be the same as the corners. It's set into two buildings for a few reasons, but that's just all to do with issues I've had in the past. And I think that's going to be okay. I think it'll look fine as well. Again, not the end product. Lots to do. I started building, then I changed my mind, because I'm not sure if I want this to be a bit more freestanding and then just have the top over it rather than it connecting fully, so I've completely removed the other half I was starting to build. There's no problems with it or anything like that, but I think we're going to stick with just this for now, then add the top afterwards, after I can see how it looks properly once it's built. So I'm just not sure how I want this to look, because if this looks bad for the future, it's going to be really annoying. Like, really annoying. I'd also need to start building some roads around. But that'll be for another day. Currently we have only one general worker, so hopefully we get another one tomorrow. Uh, probably not this time. Oh, although, building this will help. And some of the other people will help build that. And also, the resources are worth food and actual, you know, resources. So, I mean, it's good, it's good. Yay, the cook's making some broth already. Fantastic. That should, that should start making some people happier. Except for the actual cook, who's very sad. Why are you so sad? Oh, you've got allergies. Okay. Ice taste a meal. Okay, so that counts as that. So ice taste a meal. The brewer's making um, juice, so they have a good drink. They have good food. They need housing. Quite a bit, actually. Their happiness isn't really going to happen that quickly, because I want to make alcohol first. Turns out I wasn't making berry juice anymore, but I did manage to sell loads of stuff to a, um... Hmm. Apparently we have no gold now and no net worth. I need to reload the game. I just sold stuff, and I do have enough net worth now for a new person. The game just crashed. Okay. We're okay. Everything's okay. I'm okay. Are you okay? No, you're sad. But that's okay. You can be sad. Or you can be happy. Or you can be a potato. I don't really care. I swear I've just been staring at this duck for like the last five minutes. It just turned off my brain completely. It's good to know that my brain has an off switch and apparently that is a duck. Oh look, silkweed. Why did I plant silkweed over here again? Oh yeah, because it wanted more water. Yeah, that grew way faster than the other silkweed. Okay, this is coming along nicely. Little minion there, being a good little minion, as good little minions do. Hello there, Mr. Rook. You are twos. Yes, you're going to stay as a worker. You're going to be my most favourite, at least my second most favourite worker. So, I want to know how to fish and stuff, because I love the idea of that, but so far I haven't really got any of the stuff. I think it might be something to do with... Uh, one of the jobs, the engineering job, because it looks like a lot of the um, irrigation stuff will be unlocked once that happens. Ooh, hot and sunny. Unsheltered halflings are too hot and ooh to work effectively. That's not good. So now it's summer. Okay, don't burn. 
I'm not going to really help you with that, but just don't. You heard the tip. It's not as effective when you are burnt. Okay, good. Now we're actually making that stuff. That means soon we can finally make ourselves these. Oh, we need thread as well. Why do we need so many things? I mean, it's two things, but for me, that's way too much. Harvest this. We have enough food. Need more farmers. Need more everything. Why can I buy minions? I mean, like, golems, not buy half stone minion. I'm saying things. What are you... You're doing what now? Oh, yeah, you're making the wine casks. Good, good, good. Didn't I order you to keep these stocked? Why did that go away? Was that one of the crashes? Yeah, I want to make sure I always have berry juice available. That'll boost happiness as well. So, so soon we're going to have cooked food, a drink which isn't just water, a variety of food, and some shelter, and some prettiness, and... Oh my god, as somebody who doesn't like heights, that is... Oh, that is horrible! Killin', Killian. What are you? However... Too sweaty and could use some refreshment. Well, I have juice, I have water, you know, help yourself. Yes, finally! Pick those, uh, silkweeds. Didn't it just say you're mature? Are you not doing this right? No, some of them are mature, okay. For a second there, I thought he was just destroying them because he got bored. Oh no. It's a goblin with a fancy hat. <laughs> Your puny settlement now part of glittering territory. I deserve tribute of shinies. Two silkweed leaves, 46 chunk of limestone. Uh, I mean, that's really not all that much, but I also am getting bored not killing things. You know, you come here to fight us, we kill and eat you. You know? No. Come at me, bro. I just listened back to the voice I just did for that goblin. What on earth was that? <laughs> I'm not well. I try to bring seeds from a distant land. Hello, Lathrixian Breweries. I'm just passing through, but I'd be willing to make a trade or two if you're interested. If you want to make me three basket of paddy. Basket of paddy. What on earth is a basket of paddy? I'll be back in four days with Arctic... No, I don't know what... Wait, I should have said yes, because the worst comes to the worst. He just doesn't get the stuff and doesn't trade me. I am not smart. The first set of our wine casks are now down, which means we can start getting loads of them fermented at once. It'll take a few days, but then we'll have our first batches of wine. Which is pretty cool. Uh, for now, let's move this over here. Oh, it looks like the carpenter will actually repair the training dummy. Okay, so that's how it works. So when the carpenter's not doing anything, he'll repair it, and then it can be used again for our people to attack. Really need to make a more permanent place for these cherry bushes. I've got to be honest, I am surprisingly happy with just having this arch here. But we do need to make it so that, you know, people have shelter while they're here. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this section either. Oh, we could just move the cherries there. This could be for the cherries, for cherry wine and cherry beer and cherry cherry. Okay, that would be actually pretty cool. But first, let's figure out how we're going to do this. So, we could have it on the side here coming out, or we could extend it from up here. We could just have it on here. There's a lot of options to play with. Um, for now though, again, I am just going with the most basic I can, just because I do want this top section free for later. So it's gonna be quite boring, I'm afraid, for the time being. I quite like that. And then we could build bridges there later. Yeah, actually, leaving this gap here would look really cool. So we have a large building here, a bridge, then another large building on top of this. But for now, we'll just have it like this and bring a couple of arches down here for the pillars. Yeah, I'll just copy this and just put it on the side. I think that will look interesting. A bit dumb, but interesting. But a bit dumb. You know, that looks fine. That's absolutely fine. We'll build that. Please work. Yes, lovely. I don't know how they're going to get to it. I guess I'll just build up some uh, ladders and stuff, but that's that. Oh, I love these little pots. I kind of want the silk farm to just be like that rather than this. 
Also, anyone can harvest them. Oh, as I say that, you'll harvest. It. Oh yeah, the cook can still help with the harvest, can't they? Or, or can everyone help with the harvest? You were walking very weirdly then. Don't think I didn't notice. And can someone please heal this faster? Carpenter. Make things. There's a lot of stuff here which I still need to build. Ooh, a serving keg. Ah, that's for the well, but I've already upgraded it into a wooden one. Oh, that's an addition. Okay. So I've put down the ranged target, but so far the cleric hasn't used it, so I don't think that's going to work. But I can't see any specific one for the cleric, so sadly, looks like they're just not going to be able to train, which is, yeah, just a real shame, honestly. Because clerics get some really good stuff when they level up. Though we haven't really been attacked yet because of the whole cliffs. Oh, building all this has... Oh no, I've not done it the wrong colour, have I? Oh no, I haven't. Just weird shading. I am not that dumb, apparently. For now. But yeah, got a new person. Welcome! Oh. Welcome to the workforce. And look, everything's now attached by roads. Look how fast people run. Why is there no way to train the healers? Okay, let's finally build a house then. So, we could build it partially into the wall. That would be cool, having a couple of... That would be easy, but they don't like that very much. If I bring this down, it doesn't really give us much space, though, to build here. They don't really need huge houses. We just have, like, a couple... Yeah, let's build a really simple one that I can then copy and paste and have, like, three of them, each with one or two beds. Then have the road going down like this. Should we move the farms as well? There's so much organization I need to do and my brain not functioning today. I could make it really simple and just go, Haha! It's a house! Well done! There you go, it's a house. Can I make comfy beds yet? Yeah, oh, that's an animal comfy bed, not quite. Fine stuffing. How do you make stuffing? I'm um, guessing it's you. Aha! Okay, cool. So let's make eight of those, seven of those, and make everyone a cam. Please do that first. That'd be lovely. Then that way I can make two. Well, I can make several of these. Uh, should I put two beds in here? Yeah, that's enough space. It's very cramped in here, honestly. It's definitely serving a purpose. It's not the worst. Wait, hang on. Does it upset them to have a shared room? I almost... I have a vague recollection of them being unhappy with a shared room. I'll do this for now, and if they are unhappy with it, I can always just move the bed somewhere else. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. It's starting to look a bit more like a village, and it's nice that we now have the cherries in a location where they're actually meant to be. Still a lot of sadness. Yeah, the main issues right now is just lack of housing. Huh. You've got a title. 100 items. Excellent. Instantly fix that one. Instantly go to destroy it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Ooh, I wonder how many levels they can actually gain by training. Because I doubt they can get to max level by training on these, but just a couple of levels will do. Hey, our first footman to level up. Fantastic. Fatigued. I mean, look how many positives we have. Beautiful dining, improved my skills, okay, that's, that's just for him specifically. But my meal was cooked, finally prepared drink, beautiful dining, had a decent tasting drink. All of that is all adding up. It just... They just need beds, and the bedrooms need to be a bit prettier. So I'm going to start just putting loads of decorations in once I can afford that. Again though, wish I could level up the cleric somehow. I know they can practice on... Animals, um, if we have a shepherd. I've definitely seen that happen before b before using the mod, but I wish there was a training dummy. I mean, it makes sense. They're healing. Don't know how you can practice healing on a dummy, but still. I think I'm going to upgrade the trapper into a shepherd. 
It'll be more consistent, and we won't need the uh, forested land over here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's make ourselves a shepherd. Shepherd's crook requires two fur pelts and... Oh, wow, we are completely out of wood at the moment. We do have stalls, though. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because sometimes the merchants which arrive here can sell basic resource. For now, I'll just throw it down here. We'll make a proper marketplace eventually, since we're going to be buying and selling so much stuff. That's the end goal, at least. You know what? Since we don't need this uh, forest land anymore, we're going to do this. Still asking them to, to uh, replant, but still. What's with the limestone here? I have no idea. Okay, so, cool merchant. Charcoal, firewood. Uh, you know? I do actually need some more firewood, uh, and this will stop them from burning all of our wood. So, that's good, but now we have to wait. I think I can put down multiple of these. Um, why aren't you making more? I'm sure I asked for more. None of pelts. Can you get pelts from the shepherd? I mean, I'm sure you can, right? At least some of the animals we can get leather from. Or pelts, I should say. Pelty leathers. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> no, they don't. That's getting a bit annoying now. I don't know how to work around that. Uh, I guess I could just, like... Ooh. I was going to say, I could put some ladders here and just literally let them come down, because I do want to fight things. And look, there's one over here with a chest I can't get to. Why is the game punishing me like this? Oh, there you are! I didn't know you were actually here. Oh, hey, Ratley. I didn't think they actually physically existed. I, I just thought that... Oh, I kind of don't want to... Uh, I don't want to continue their storyline. I like them being here. Enemies over here as well. Why can't they spawn here? We are accidentally playing the easiest game of hard mode. We have four berry wine. We have made our first wine. I doubt they'll drink it by themselves. Since I've seen all the serving casks and everything, I assume the casks are needed and they can't just take out the barrel. Which is a little bit annoying, and by cast I meant say kegs. It's a little bit annoying, um, but it does mean our people aren't just going to get drunk constantly, and at least I have some control over that, I assume. Right. What are you drinking? What did you just- Brewer, what did you just drink? I think just juice, right? My drink was simple. We had a great talk, and you had a decent drink. Huh? Oh, you must have drank some water as well, okay. So hopefully then, I can control when they drink, and that's going to make everyone happy. So I can get a burst of happiness, which then will let me get the cheer thing faster. Can you fill these already, please? It's taking a long time. I thought I'd already asked for that, and now it's not letting me ask for it. What? Okay, I am a little bit confused. Okay. Some people are now getting to the merry status, and no one is sad anymore. That's probably because of the food and drink. Everyone has food and drinks available now, so that's good. Three baskets of corn, I can't make that, but this time I'll accept it. And if we can't make it, we can't make it. There's no punishment for that, so that's fine. Okay, you are now going to become a shepherd, but that is what we're going to be doing next video, because I am really out of time. I've just looked at time, I've been playing this for hours and hours now, I just... I got into the groove of it. I absolutely adore this game, and my mind is not with me, obviously. My whole face is just in pain, and my brain is off more than, just more than usual. So, with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stonehearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next video, I'll be naming a lot of people, so if you want to put down a name suggestion in the comments, feel free to, and if you put the name of the person you want to be named, that does make it a lot easier for me to select them and just put all the names in a good old list to make things easier for my brain. Next time, I'll be a bit more lucid. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care. And until next time, bye. 
So cute. 